hello guys and welcome to another powerpoint tutorial in this video i'll show you how to create this blueprint type scroll effect in powerpoint let's begin by changing the color of our background to black then insert a rectangle i'll use these dimensions align the rectangle on the slide Head to the shapes group and insert the cylinder. I'll use these dimensions. Adjust the top surface. Flip the cylinder vertically and align it properly. Select the rectangle. Hold Ctrl, Shift and drag to duplicate the rectangle. Scale the rectangle a bit and format it by applying the slide background fill and removing the outline. Then send it behind the cylinder. As you can see, when I drag the object, it marks the rectangle, which is required to get the desired animation. Okay, we can proceed by grouping both objects together. Now let's improve the visual design by applying a gradient fill. Starting with this rectangle, select a gradient fill. Delete this gradient stop and customize the other gradient stops by changing their colors and positions. Let's also remove the outline. Now select the cylinder and apply a gradient fill. By default, PowerPoint applies the last used gradient format style. So delete this gradient stop. Change the color of this gradient stop, change the angle of the gradient, remove the outline, and apply an outer shadow to the cylinder. Our scroll is coming up nicely. Let's duplicate the grouped objects, flip it horizontally, then align it properly. Okay, we've created a basic scroll. Let's proceed by making this look like a blueprint type scroll. So, head to the Insert tab and insert the 24 by 12 table. Remove the shading on all the cells, then format the table. Changing it to a grid we can use for the rectangle. We can achieve this by switching to a thin, white, near transparent border. Okay, scale down the table, adjust and align the grid with the rectangle, creating a blueprint type scroll. Okay, now we can proceed by inserting our text. I'll paste my text from my clipboard. Okay. Now align the text box on the scroll. Open the selection pane and rename the text box by adding double exclamation marks before the text so it moves accordingly. We'll get to see why this is important later in the tutorial. Also, drag the text box below these two grouped objects. Duplicate the slide. Add to the first slide. Enable the center guides. Then drag the grouped objects to hide the text. Now we can reverse the angles of the gradients on both cylinders. Finally, apply the morph transition to both slides and reduce the duration. Let's check it out on full screen.
As you can see, we've created the scroll opening animation. That's looking good. Now, to use this slide as a template, we will need to remove the fill color from the text box where it's hidden. And if you recall, we have renamed the text box and added a double exclamation mark so that PowerPoint recognizes the object as the same object across all slides, thereby morphing it accordingly. So let's proceed by removing the fill color from the text. We can also duplicate this slide and drag it below. Let's check it out on full screen. As you can see, the text fades in as the scroll opens and fades out as the scroll closes. To add more text descriptions, simply duplicate the slides, edit the text where it's visible and ensure the text box is aligned. Then you can repeat the process for as many slides as you wish. There you go. That's how to create the blueprint type scroll effect in PowerPoint. If you like the tutorial, Please support the channel by liking this video, leaving a comment, and subscribing for more PowerPoint awesomeness. If you're interested in the tutorial slides, the link is in the description. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.